he had uh, a very significant narrowing of his carotid artery. And furthermore, he had what is called a dissection. It's a, a little more rare to see that in, that, in the carotid artery where um, um, it, it, it increased his risk of having a stroke. I was very happy to be able to present to him a new option um, that we've never done at, at Spectrum Health. And, and, I, and I told him that, that this is the, uh, that I've been trained in a new procedure called TCAR, um, transcarotid artery revascularization. And, um, and this is a procedure that I felt was, that he was a great candidate for. I felt that um, when performed um, appropriately and well, he, it, this would uh, significantly decrease his risk of having a complication from, um, from, uh, from our other, uh, when compared to other procedures that we, that we do. So this TCAR procedure was perfect for Lester because of how severely blocked his artery was to this brain. And um, this procedure allowed us to protect his brain from having a stroke while we were placing the stent in this really sev uh, very severe um, narrow lesion um, um, of, his, of his carotid artery. And um, um, we were able to reverse the blood flow through that artery so that the blood was not flowing towards the brain while we were placing the stent and uh, it gave us a lot of confidence to be able to, um, to, to fix his, his, um, his artery without him having a stroke. I had the pleasure to see uh, uh, Lester uh, in my office yesterday, uh, him and his wife and um, when I entered the room, he was him and his wife were both smiling, and and he was very uh, very happy with the with the result. He was he was doing well. His his um he had a, a very small incision that was hard to to see uh, because it was so small and, and, and almost hidden. Um, he was uh, feeling great, and um, and I was I was very very happy with the, the progress that he. Uh, uh, that he made uh, following the, the procedure. One of the things that we found with TCAR uh, is that uh, research has shown that, that the risk of having a stroke in certain populations and in people like Lester is lower than any other uh, method of treating his, his uh, carotid artery disease. And that's why I felt that it was so important for him um, and that he was a good candidate for that. Is, because I wanted to make sure that we gave him the best opportunity to not have a stroke um, during this procedure.